Hi everyone! If you're new to my channel, my name is The Third Grader. Or you can call me Natalie, whichever. And these are all my sales from February! Yes, I'm super late about it, but it's what it is. <laughs> I have a lot going on right now. I'm about to move. We did find a new place, but uh, we won't be moving till mid-April, which it's almost there now. I have not received the keys, but anyway. Um, on with the show! Uh, <laughs> let's see. Okay, this first item, I sold it for $8.49. Uh, let's see, I had it on a 15% off sale, and it sold plus the shipping to, um, I don't remember who it sold to. I'm so unprepared, I'm sorry. Um, uh, okay, so, I got this a long time ago, like a couple of years ago, and I finally sold it. St. Patrick's Day was coming up, I was hoping it would sell last year, and the year before, I guess. So, yeah, it finally sold eight fifty. I was happy to see it go. I did, unfortunately, um, buy it at Goodwill for $4, but I thought it was really neat, very vintage-y looking. It was made in USA, and it was like this nice corduroy. You don't see it really well, but uh, back then I was like cleaning the floor and then putting clothes, flat laying the clothes on my floor because I thought the floor was like a nice color, but I stopped doing that and putting them on poster boards. Anyway, next item. Okay, this is from the group of Aleister Crowley books that I had. Uh, I did sell it for $42.49 again. I had it on sale for 15% off, and it sold with the shipping. Nothing to really say here. Um, I had several books from my dad. I got them from my dad. He bought them at Goodwill. I paid him $10 for all of them, so this cost me about $1.50. Beatrix Potter rubber stamp kit. This was super cute. Got it at Goodwill. The, the Goodwill I hate because it never has anything, but occasionally I'll run in there and I'll find like one or two things. This was one of them that day, and I think this and another... Beatrix Potter stamp set was all I found, and it was a dollar a piece. So I bought this for a dollar. I sold this one for seventeen plus shipping. The other one now, if you find the Peter Rabbit rubber stamp sets, those are worth a lot more. I think I sold that one for thirty or thirty-five. Like it was, it went for really good money for only uh, getting it for a dollar. And there's only six in here, so yeah, really nice sale there. This was not so good. I don't even remember how much uh, I bought this for. I think it was like, I don't know. I'm going to say it was $1 or $2 max. Sold it for $12.74 with that sale. And uh, plus shipping. This went to Las Vegas. All the tapes had this like nice retro look to them. But I'm assuming the person that got them liked them. I don't even know. Oh, also, when this sold, I had to really look for them because they were kind of scattered all over the place. So, yeah, that wasn't very fun. <laughs> Next item, this is kind of a creepy one because I found it in my car. Okay, so, story is, I went to this hotel in 2016, which is a, like basically a year before I got the car that I have now. Uh, it had some wear on it, uh, like some rust or whatever. Um, so it had obviously been in my car a while, but I never bought a souvenir from this hotel. I did go there. It's in Colorado. It's the same hotel that Stephen King stayed in in the 70s or whenever, and he wrote The Shining. So 217 is the room that he stayed in. So, I mean, it's not really creepy, but it is kind of spooky how, like, this just appeared in my car. I didn't need it, you know. Um, 
I, I didn't care to really keep it. I, I love this hotel. If you ever go down to uh, Estes Park, definitely see this hotel. It's very, very nice. It was also where Dumb and Dumber was shot. It is not where The Shining was shot. The Shining was shot, I believe, somewhere in England. If, But you can correct me on that. Anyway, this sold for $10 plus the shipping, I was, and it sold very really quickly. If you ever happen to find these somewhere, like maybe in a, um, a keychain lot or something, um, definitely uh, sell it. This might have even sold for a little bit more. I, I just didn't know what to expect. And there was not any on eBay, or if there was, there might have been like one. So, very cool sale. This is a shirt from Tyler the Creator. His label called OFWGKTA. I keep forgetting what that stands for. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember. Uh, uh, let's search that O. Anyway, yeah, Odd Future. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, Odd Future is uh, Tyler the Creator's like group of rappers that he raps a lot with creates um songs with or whatever and uh so even though this looks like a just a generic kind of cat looking shirt if it says uh o f w g k t a on it definitely pick it up also look out for their other shirts sometimes you'll just see a weird shirt that'll say like wang on it or golf and uh, look for the tag, because the tag looks something like this. It'll have something weird in it, like this one says, do not bap in it, which is really funny. And um, yeah, so uh, I have come across other shirts but uh, from them, but at the time I wasn't sure. And I passed one up, and later on I looked it up, and I was like, oh, I should have picked that up. But I just thought it was so weird that it wouldn't sell, you know? But this is definitely a streetwear brand. Um, it sold for $20, and it's a small, and it still sold for $20 plus shipping, um, and it didn't take that long to sell either. This I had in my death pile forever. I don't know why. It is a, I believe it was a, yeah, okay, large, women's large. I found this at a Salvation Army. Uh, they had a giant, like, rummage sale out outdoor rummage sale one time and I saw this in there and I was like oh this looks kind of neat and then when I brought it home it just didn't seem all that exciting for some reason and uh so a year later <laughs> yeah a year later uh I put it on eBay and it sold within I believe a month a month and a half uh which you know relatively speaking most of my stuff generally takes a while so for something to sell in a month to month and a half is pretty fast for me uh, I also I think when I got it I didn't know the terms like rockabilly I think I had heard those terms but I didn't recognize this as something that would be a rockabilly item it's like a work shirt look up rockabilly if you don't know what that is but um, when I looked at this again, I was like, I just need to either list it or donate it or do something with it, and I was like, oh, this is kind of rockabilly looking. So, yeah, um, sold 17 plus shipping, which may not be a ton of money, but um, with it selling so quickly, uh, I, I was happy with it, and it finally made me some money, and I, I think I, s I bought this for, um, like, a dollar. Uh, by the way, on the cat shirt, I bought it for $2 at Goodwill. Sorry if I forget to tell you what I, I bought stuff for. I tend to do that a lot. I'm trying to be better at it. <laughs> this, uh, I bought at Goodwill for $3. I found three just like it. If you follow my Instagram, it's also Thriftrader. You will see that uh, I, you know, I, I put up a post saying that I, I found these. And what these are, are special jazz fests shirts. I live pretty close to New Orleans. It's about an hour and a half away. And I found a small, an extra large, and a large. 
I have now this this specifically okay I don't know which one this was I think it was the small that sold someone in New York and they really liked it and as you can see this has drums all over it it would have been perfect to see the Rolling Stones in who were originally playing but they canceled so uh, Fleetwood Mac then took over and like a week later they also canceled <laughs> so now widespread panic is playing in place of the Rolling Stones and maybe it's I just don't know a lot about widespread panic but it just seems like a major major downgrade from the Rolling Stones like Rolling Stones is pretty epic to see, you know, especially since they're not going to be around forever. And um, I feel bad for all the people who bought tickets expecting to see them and now they won't get to. Anyway, that did sell, sell for, uh, if this was a small one, it sold for 30 I priced the small one slightly lower. That might have been a mistake, but it sold pretty quickly for 30 plus the shipping. Uh, this was a really neat shirt. I showed this in one of my hauls, uh, a t-shirt haul, and the neighbor down the hallway, like, just had this in his house, and he had lost some weight, and this is an extra large, and he just didn't want it anymore, uh, so I was glad to take it from him. I thought it looked cool. You know, we were both mentioning how cool it was, and he was like, hey, if you want it, take it with you, and... Uh, it got a lot of attention on on eBay and Etsy, and it sold. Uh, I did take an offer for eighty dollars plus the shipping. I was trying to get a hundred and twenty for it, but I realized that probably wouldn't happen. I just wanted to price it high to see what kind of offers I got, and if you're a country fan, the person that bought it. Now I can't confirm this, but the person that bought it said that it was going to be worn for in a popular country stars video so once again no clue who that is but uh, some country star wore this for a, a video shoot so I guess if you can look out for that so uh, and by the way my cost on that was free like I said got it from the neighbor cost on this Darkwing Duck thing was a one dollar it would have been cheaper but the guy that i bought it from he was having this garage sale had no change on him and all i had was a five i took several things and he charged me like 250 i think and i said well i have a five he wouldn't he, he didn't have any change and I said just keep the five i don't even care i just want to get out of here because it, it was just getting awkward so this is a really cool toy it got a lot of attention on ebay it got like up to 13 watchers i think and it did take a while to sell and unfortunately it didn't go for as much as i was hoping i was hoping it would sell for more like 60 it did have a lot of scuffs it was kind of dirty I cleaned it up as much as possible but if someone really someone would have to like take some polish to this thing to really make it nice because it just had it was definitely well played with um the cool thing about this is that I had the the lid to it like the cockpit top unfortunately even that was missing like it's it's top piece if you look at a picture of um, the Darkwing Duck Thunder Quack plane, it has like this top piece coming off of it here. Like if you see that hole at the top right there. And if you see this gap right here um, in between the cockpit and the actual plane, it's also missing some kind of piece there. So uh, it sold for 30 plus shipping. Person really, really liked it. Uh, all right, next item. This isn't anything special. I did get this for ridiculously cheap, though, like six six cents. Um, I bought this in a, a a glass set. I got like three Grateful Dead glasses for twenty five cents, which was pretty cool. Unfortunately, 
when I brought them home, one immediately broke, so I only had two. I'm still trying to sell another one. They're they're really, really slow sellers, probably because I don't have the entire set. But this finally sold for $11.89 plus the shipping. So yeah, that was that was neat that eventually sold, but um yeah. I I don't even know when the other one like people are interested in them, but they just never buy them. Shipping may be expensive, but I don't know what else to do on that. This is the other Jazz Fest shirt. By the way, if you look at these buttons, it's also a drum. Anyway, not much more to say on this. Uh, I did get it for $3. Sold this one for $35 plus the shipping. And I believe this one did go to someone in Metairie, Louisiana. This is a Bugs Bunny giant um giant gift wrap bag i bought this for 50 cents on a goodwill half off day i just picked it up because i was picking up something else and this did sell for 11 dollars and four cents with free shipping so didn't make a ton of money off of that but i just thought it was a cool item it's like kind of in the items i like to pick up like a a vintage item Next item is this cool Ouija board. This was from 1972. And it's much bigger than the Ouija board I'm currently trying to sell, which was from, like, early 2000s. So, uh, this, if you're going to get a Ouija board, I guess get, get this one or something even older because um, it has, like, all, I don't know, the, the box is cooler, I guess. It has that retro look. I don't think the actual Ouija board has changed from how it looks today, but it's definitely smaller. Anyway, this went to someone in Poland. And if you live in Europe, let me know, can you buy Ouija boards just like this in Europe? Maybe in the UK, I'm thinking. But I looked it up, and I got no answer. So I'm wondering... Maybe they just wanted like a vintage uh, Ouija board. That that's very possible. But I want to know if you can buy Ouija boards either in Poland or anywhere in Europe. That kind of weird detail is interesting to me. <laughs> anyway, the person that got it in Poland, um, they absolutely loved it and gave me good feedback. This is a surfing penguin Lisa Frank binder. I got thirty dollars for it unfortunately that was with free shipping it's a very neat binder um but what i thought was coolest about this is that it didn't quite have the lisa frank look yet uh this is 1989 so it's kind of early in the lisa frank franchise they weren't quite as popular yet um these folders have that kind of look I don't know if the folders are from an older or from a later period, but uh, let's see if I can pull up the logo. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, I can't zoom in really, really well, but yeah. So okay so a tip for lisa frank is if you see the capital letters on lisa and frank then you have something older and if you see the lower case i don't know why she would change her letters to lower, maybe she just thought it looked cooler maybe bubblier but those are from the probably early to mid 2000s and later so if you're gonna find Lisa Frank and sell it definitely get the the uh, capital letters I thought this would sell for a lot more but um, because it's an earlier Lisa Frank it didn't quite have that that cool Lisa Frank look like the neon bright colors and the super cute kittens unicorns dolphins those are the ones you really want to look for. I mean, I'd still pick this up every day for, uh, all day for 99 cents, which is what I got it for at, at Goodwill. But, um, I still wish it would have been, like, one of the ones from the 90s. Anyway, that's all I got for February. I think February had some really great finds, really great sales. 
better than January, maybe even um, March. And I am coming out with a March sales video very soon. I might even do it tonight. Uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the sales video. And uh, thanks for watching. As always, bye.